Captain, welcome to the C-Series. Thank you, Chad. This is just absolutely the state of the art in avionics. My name is uh, Peter Koch. I'm captain and project pilot on the Bombardier C-Series. Is that cool? Wow. Ah, look at this! Isn't that awesome? Can't wait to fly this airplane. No, <laughs> me neither. I'm Chet Fuller. I'm the uh, senior vice president of commercial for Bombardier Commercial Aircraft. Entering the flight deck and then sitting down, I really felt home, I felt comfortable. And to me, it was a sign that this cockpit was sort of designed, yes, with engineers, but finally, it was designed by pilots for pilots. I've been on this airplane since it was a white piece of paper, and the reason why I'm on this is because I was a flight instructor for 26 years. That is for the pilot, it will be easy for them to use, easy for them to understand, and that uh, they'll have fun flying it. And the, and the engine start is basically just on. That's this it. is it, huh? That's it. That's it. So what I like the most about the C-Series flight deck is clearness. The overview you have with this five large LCD screens, the future development like a synthetic vision system. And that means is that you actually get 3D uh, terrain being shown on the display. Also making a big difference are the dual head of display systems. No head down needed to look for the button, you can directly. Exactly. Except we have heads up radio tuning. Why? Because the radio tuning is what a pilot does all the time. If he's heads up, he's looking out the window. We do want them to look out the window. You sit yeah. and you have very good information. The information is consistent. And just like this FMS, today's FMSs are kind of a pain to program. Yes, they are. Page, 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 yeah, page. By you know. page, by page, and you lose time. So with our FMS, it is very easy to use, so therefore the pilot will understand it more, more readily, but he will use it to its uh, maximum capability. And so here you have departure, climb, cruise, descent, arrival. arrival. Uh, you work your way through, fill it out, and off and, you go. And it's just by phase of yep. flight, so you want to see something that affects arrival, boom. Part of the design of the, of the fly-by-wire airplane, obviously, is we have, don't have a control yoke anymore. So because we don't have a control yoke, we have lots of room. What we have, though, is we have a, a, need, a need for for a table. Ride reports. There you go. Wow. So you can do all your uh, yep. FMS work yep. or, uh, or acknowledge your dispatch, yep. et cetera. So let me see. A decent table, a decent coffee mug holder. There you go. The C-Series, obviously, being a, a clean sheet design and not a stretch, not a shrink of, of existing platforms, it's a whole new design airplane. So this airplane is pushing the envelope as far as design. It will be the game changer for the next 20 years. The major differences on a C-Series flight deck to other airplanes I have flown, yes, you do have a fly-by-wire system with a side stick, but you are kept as human being in the center of all decisions meaning as a, as a pilot you have the final control over the airplane. So in order to reduce training, in order to get to a lower training footprint, you first have to make it intuitive, mm -hmm. then you have right. to make it logical, yeah. right? Yeah. Looking forward to fly the C-Series. After years of uh, development and discussions and forming and engineering, you want to see it, you want to feel it, you want to smell it, you want to touch it. So you're flying along, you know, and you're not touching anything because a good pilot would never touch the controls. And <laughs> <laughs> and you, you get the message, yeah. and you read it, and it's a accept. clearance, you accept, yep. execute, execute, and it's loaded, and the airplane... Great. How cool is that?